Hello, I will introduce to you in this video, the Hausman test in panel data analysis. We will show you how to perform it step by step on our panel data, from which we presented the results in our article, published on Sustainability Review in 2019. The Hausman test, also called the Durbin Wu Hausman test, or Hausman specification test, is a statistical hypothesis test in econometrics named after James Durbin, Domin Wu, and Jerry Hausman. This test is used to check whether an estimate for an unknown parameter is consistent or not. It helps one evaluate if a statistical model corresponds to the data. In panel analysis, the Hausman test can be used to decide whether to choose a fixed effect model or a random effect model. The null hypothesis for Hausman's test, in this case, is that we use the random effects model, because it is more efficient. On the other hand, the alternative hypothesis tells us that, we should use the fixed effects model, since the random effect model is not consistent. By applying the procedure for Hausman's test given above, we can decide which model, fixed effects, or random effects, is better. Specifically, if the result indicates p-value that is smaller than 0.05, fixed effects model is chosen, and if p-value greater than 0.05, random effects model is chosen. We will show you how to implement the Hausman test on our panel data, that includes 434-year observations of 62 provinces as entities of our sample, each province has 7-year observations. Our research aims to study the relationship between foreign direct investment and sustainability at provincial level, in a developing host country such as Vietnam, in the period between 2010 and 2016. Now, we perform the Hausman test, for choosing regression model for our panel data of Vietnam provinces. Firstly, you need to set Stata to handle panel data, by using the command XT set. Type the command here. Note that Stata distinguishes capital letters, so you must type exactly the variable name. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors. In this case, ID represents the entities that is Vietnam provinces, and year represents the time variable. As the panel data has been handled, we can now run the fixed effects model, by using the stata command xt reg, with dependent variable ans and 13 variables, including 11 independent ones, and 2 control variables in our panel data. Type the command here. Note that the option phase should be chosen for the fixed effects model. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors. To compare the results with random effects model that will be performed later, we must now save the estimates with fixed effects regression, by using the command estimates store fixed. Then, we run the random effects model by using the stata command xt reg with the same variables by choosing the option re. Type the command here and enter. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors. Also, we save the estimates by using the command estimates store random by typing the command here and enter. For comparing fixed and random effects models, 
We perform now the Houseman test by typing Houseman fixed random. Type the command here and enter. The negative sign can arise if different estimates of the error variance are used in forming variance of B and variance of capital B. In that case of negative value of 918.16, we need to use the sigma more option, which specifies that, both covariance matrices are based on the same estimated disturbance variance from the efficient estimator. Type here the Hausman test with the sigma more option, then enter. By focusing on the results of this Hausman test, we determine whether there are significant differences in the coefficients. And this significant Hausman test allow us to accept the null hypothesis, by indicating that the fixed effects model is appropriate. We finish here the presentation. Thanks for your views and subscription to our channel. And see you in the next video.